Hello, thank you for coming to my channel. Today is a video to share with you the materials I got for the uh, my design team project for Country Craft Creations. Um, as you see me pointing to things, I'm going to apologize up front for my nails. Um, the shops aren't open right now. I'm taping this or recording this during um, April of 2020 and so we are quarantined and so I can't get out to get my nails done and they look awful. So don't look at them, just look at the products I'm going to show you. Um, the collection that I received is a Simple Stories collection, and it's called Simple Vintage Coastal, um, or just Vintage Coastal, but the colors in this are really pretty, and there's a good combination of uh, different types of papers, and uh, there's floral and plant life and beach life. So one of the things that I was given was the chipboard stickers, and it's... Um, got some you know palm trees flamingo that flamingo is really cute i love the color of these flowers i hope you can see the pink color uh, in the camera and we've got the sign saying which way to go for the beach um a, like a stamp a pineapple the word paradise beach vibes a turtle so this is really cute and uh, my daughter and son were recently on a cruise and so i'm thinking that this paper would be really good for documenting um their cruise so uh, Vintage Coastal by Simple Stories. So to go with that, some seam binding was sent. Um, seam binding colors, you can get just about any color you're looking for at Country Craft Creation. So these match. Um, there's a green, a, a taupe, and a pinkish peach. It's a really pretty color. I like that a lot. And then there's this, um, which has a beach theme on it too. So there's like a seahorse and shells uh, and the sand dollar and things like that on there. That would be good for a closure. Okay, um, along with those, I also received the floral bits, and so this is some ephemera in here. I'm not going to open it, but I'm going to show you a little bit um, up close. It's basically florals and plants and things like that. So uh, palm trees, pineapples, and flowers is what you're going to get in this collection or this set. Um, this has 43 die cut pieces in there. Okay, and let's get to... Um, the construction of the album or folio or whatever it is I'll be making, I always use chipboard and so this is a medium weight chipboard. These are 12 by 12 sheets. I have two of them. So when I make the project um, and you want to know how much I use, I never use more than two 12 by 12 sheets because that's what I get in my design team package. So let's go through these papers. I have not yet gone through them so I'm excited to see what they look like. Um, you will receive a sticker sheet if you purchase the um, if you want to purchase this collection, and the sticker sheets are always nice. Um, I like to mount them a lot on paper, um, just to kind of give it a border and it kind of makes them stand out. <clears throat> They're easier to work with, I think, too. But um, I like how they do kind of a oh, they just kind of combine different elements in their in their sticker, so it kind of looks like a collaged piece or a layered piece. So I really like that. There's some tickets and some uh, little tab well, kind of like tabs uh titles down here just add water beach happy coast to coast vitamin c and then we have some like labels too um some tabs i need uh, no hurries no worries this says tropical vibes tropical vibes but this is a cute border piece and it's got like a little piece of a doily on each end it's got some greenery some shells the beach chair so i just like the layering on these stickers okay that is that. So let's get into the collection. So there are some uh, coordinating papers for color. So let's go through those. Um, this one is the guava sand. This side is the guava. And there is some texture to that. And then this side is the sand color. And there is some texture on there if you look carefully. So I like to um, have some solid colors when I design just to kind of balance things out a little bit. This is the ocean and coral reef. So here's one side. Here's the other. So double sided. Have one of each. And then this is the kiwi and the seaside. So a green color and then this light blue. So these papers are cool just because you need some solids to kind of tone things down a little bit so it doesn't get so you know crazy to look at but also there's the texture in them and I like that it's not just a 100% solid there's some interest to these papers okay there are two by twos and this is 
always a cute sheet. They always have a good variety of pictures. Anywhere from sayings to doilies to flowers, pineapple ships, lighthouse, beach chair, seagulls. Okay. It's really pretty. And you know, I'm not really an outdoorsy, like a nautical person, but they add enough feminine to this that I like it a lot. Um, Cause normally I don't do nature things. I'm an indoor person, but this is really pretty. And then on the back is a, there's some ships and there's kind of like a map, I think in the background. I don't have my glasses on, but I think it kind of looks like an island or a map um, by the ships. So she sends two of those. So again, when I make my books and you're like, how much paper did you use? I never have more than two, usually two of the collection. Every once in a while there's three sheets, but normally there's two. Okay, here's some more cut aparts. These are the three by fours. So get a good look at those. The colors are really vibrant. They're really pretty. And then on the other side you have shells. I want to, I really want to use all of these. So I want to think of a project I can make where I use all these three by fours. I guess I could um, do some sort of waterfall where these are all on there, but I really like those. The next one are the four by fours. And I really like this down here in the corner. It makes me, don't worry, beach happy. <laughs> Living the good life. See, I live in Nebraska and we, we um, that used to be our logo or our slogan was Nebraska the good life. Um, now it's Nebraska. It's not for everyone. So take that as you will. Um, so really cute. That pineapple is really cute. And ooh, I love this marbly watercolor look on the back. It is a map. That is really pretty colors. Mm. Very pretty. So that is the four by fours. Then you have four by sixes. Okay. This one kind of has that I just feel like I'm at the beach or at and by the ocean. It's just got a really cool feel to it. And there's that flamingo. And on the other side we have some pineapple. That is really cute. I really like the colors in this paper. I have really liked Simple Stories lately. It, they have been get, putting out some beautiful papers. Not that they didn't before. I guess maybe I'm just noticing more now. Okay. So this one is the Beach Vibes, and I love that lighthouse in the corner. There were cut aparts that had that. Then we have some floral up in the corner. And then we have our little boat shells and plant life over here. And on the other side we have a coral color, and this has a map also. So this really makes me think Hawaii on this one. I don't know why, but it's called Rest and Relax. And on the other side is the green. We have a Paradise Found. One thing that I'd also like about Simple Stories is I think they have a lot of different patterns. Like when you buy the paper line, there's a lot of different um, pieces or a lot of different designed paper. It's not like just six of the same thing. Um, this is Paradise Found and I like that wood look background. A lot of maps on this one. And then we've got the island feel on this side. The next piece, uh, this is Sandy Toes. This is a real masculine page to me. And then the wood or bamboo type feel on the other side. Anytime there's paper that has some sort of font or text or script with it, I really like. And so these shells, um, kind of, it's like dictionary paper, different strips of it. Um, it says, see you soon is the name of this one, but you can see the different colors inside of here. 
and then we have a bluish green aqua type color on the back. Yeah, maps is a big theme in this one. So the next one, there's a map, and then on the other side, more of a wood print. I like this because then you can decorate with your um, ephemera and stuff and it really stands out. So it's nice to have this pattern and not always just like tons of floral. So I like the balance. Ooh, okay. I think I found my favorite. This one is uh, Let's Get Lost. And I love this section right here. Look at how beautiful. There's a compass and stamps and flowers. I really like that. Mm, very pretty like that layered look and then we have flamingos on the back. So that's really cute, too And there is one more in this collection one more design So we have the tropical life With our boats and trees and palms and water and then this real pretty scene on the other side That's I really like this color. That's the color of the seam binding that I was sent I like how there's some text inside of here. So let me just try and lay this out for you so you can see it again real quick. I'm not going to lay out everything, but just an opportunity to see how the colors, oops, how the colors go together. Okay. All right, so I don't know what yet I will be making. I love all the cut apart, so I hope to incorporate uh, a lot of those in my designs. So we make two or three projects and we have two free tutorials up always. This, at the time of this video, can be purchased at countrycraftcreations.com and I'm, there might be some extra elements that match that you can purchase also. Uh, I know that sometimes they have frames uh, and the Simple Stories frames are beautiful. So go ahead and check that out and I will be back soon with a project and a tutorial for you. Everybody stay healthy and I will see you soon.